brought you into the community, man, and I hope you continue to enjoy the content. So now we have Cross. And Tato has chosen Portuguese. Fascinating. So it's it's like Cross you saw in Hidden Cup 2, only it's Nomad start, and you start with the horsey. Tato's in the blue. He's up 2-1. to one. He's chosen Portuguese. And then in the pink or magenta, we have Vinchester. He's more towards the south of this map, and he's chosen Hans. So this brings up a lot of different talking points. So again, it's a Nomad start, and Hans start with 100 less wood. So that means if Inchester wants to dock and fish, he needs to wait till he collects wood to do that. Atato actually has enough wood to build a dock already. So Huns are one of the weaker starting sieves on Nomad because of the lack of wood. But as the game goes on, the fact that they don't have to build houses and the fact that they have a very strong castle age makes them one of the better sieves. But I wonder what Tato's thinking with Portuguese. It's definitely a map where you need to control the pawns rely on the fish, so maybe he'll go for water control? And maybe on land he might consider going organ guns, um, if he could get a castle up anyway. But there's a pond in the north, there's a pond in the south, uh, east, west, that's the idea of cross. And since this is a nomad start, and it can be a, kind of a punishing map, uh, we have horses for the players to scout with. So you can find extra resources with the horses, uh, know where your opponent is if you're careful and don't run into their town center. Star Wars says, so down on yourself, T90 official. Take credit where credit is due, matey. I mean, I can recognize that... I don't know, man. Like, I, I genuinely don't think that, <laughs> that I'm worthy of the amount of subscribers I have on YouTube and Twitch and the amount of followers and viewers. I don't think so. And I mean, I recognize I put in a lot of work, but it's all happened so fast, man. Like I did, I went full time a year and a half ago when I was averaging 400 viewers. So, to to have it at this point right now is pretty crazy. And I'm, I don't know. My my friends tell me that I need to shut up as well with that. My friends are like, "You worked hard. Stop saying you don't deserve it." But I don't know, man. Half of myself realizes I do deserve it, and half realizes that it's crazy. So let's put it that way. Or it's not. Ian, thank you for the two month resub, man. <laughs> so, Portuguese should have a slightly stronger start, and that's because they can fish earlier. And Tato has one fishing ship. But, ah, I'm still really curious why Tato has chosen this civilization. In a 2v2 or a 3v3, any type of team game format, you would have the free cartography upgrade. But when there's so many other civs available, the choose Portuguese is, is interesting. Most of you probably missed the civ draft, but we did that live on stream, and Tato chose Portuguese within the last second. You have 30 seconds to make a choice. So honestly, it could have been that he was undecided and he just clicked Portuguese last second. Because if you don't click something, it randomizes for you, and you could end up with something crazy like and awful like Vietnamese. We'll see. But one more villager, two more villagers for Vinch, actually. And then Tato will have just one more fishing ship. So Vinch is actually doing better at the moment. Halibus is T90. I have no clue about AOE2, but I like to watch and listen. Well, it's good to hear, man. Like I said, I, I just, I don't know. It, it could be hard to explain my mindset on it all. Um, I, I could get... Uh, emotionally overwhelmed <laughs> like I, and I really don't want to cry on stream that's probably not a good thing because you guys would clip that so we'll just we'll just not cry today and just say I'm thankful so I see this villager walking to the left so Vinch wants to dock at this point because he hasn't had to build houses he saved a lot of wood and Tato has had to build houses. And Tato is bringing in this boar. He has more boars, so he has plenty of food. Still just curious, why choose Portuguese? Now, a normal cross, since players have scouts that can attack, what you'd need to do is be careful when you send villagers to the corners. But since there's no scouts that can attack, you can easily send villas to the corners. 
Uh, I recommend watching Hidden Cup 2 videos if you haven't already. Cross provided some excellent games. And you'd see it. The games were decided by who had the most fish normally. And sometimes you have slower sieves. Uh, Portuguese could be an example. Slower sieves who really don't offer a lot in Castle Age in terms of mobility. So they would be the ones to focus on the ponds. And then you have faster sieves, uh, which have like knights and cav archers, and they would focus on land. The cool thing about Huns is, and I think it's the best pick for Cross, they could do water and they can do land quite easily because of how fluid their tech tree is. And there's no there's no wolves on this map. Uh, the previous map was the only map that I've seen be a nomad start and have jaguars or wolves. So there's also no risk of running into any wolves or animals that might ruin your day. It's interesting to me that Vinchester is docked here so early, though. Because if he's docked there that early, that tells me he might not go to feudal quickly, and he might just try and fish boom in both ponds and go for fast castle. And is this a villager running to the north as well? It is. So she's going for every pond that she can get to. Again, Tato can't deny that. And Tato actually almost lost his horse there. Losing the horse would be a big deal. Because you, if you're going for pond aggression, you need to know what pond your opponent's in. Imagine if Tato were to go to the north without a scout, start making fishing ships, and then get killed by uh, Vinchester's fire galleys. So Tato's on the way up to Feudal Age first. He's sending villagers to gold. He has two less fishing ships, and it's about to be four less fishing ships. And he's sending a vill out here. So this is probably a dock vill, probably to go to the western side. With the idea of making fire galleys and, and killing the fish. Um, Alcoholic says, T90 only played a couple multiplayer games and lost so bad. I know I need to play more to get correct elo, but I feel like I'm not giving fun games to my opponent. Should I just let them out the way and not worry about that? What do you mean let them out the way? You mean just 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 resign until your elo goes down? Is that what you mean? Oh, Tato's docking the right hand or not the right hand side. It's the right hand side of the southern pond. Does and Vinch sees that. So Vinch knows that. That's the importance of that little horse there. Now, will Vinch see this one? He will not. And he will eventually dock up here, but he doesn't have the wood for it right now. So the strategy from Tato was to, to fight for the ponds. And he will have a dock up in two of the ponds that Vinchester's fishing in. The only two ponds that Vinchester is fishing in. But Vinchester at least spotted this. So Vinchester has five more fishing ships. He has more eco. But more eco is good for long term, but it's not good for short term. He could have just invested tons of wood into fishing ships to lose them to Tato's army. Or I guess in this case, Navy. Oh, get the games out of the way. Yeah, it's what you have to do, man. To have an accurate rating, um, you, you pretty much, you gotta lose some games sometimes or you have to win some games. It's just how it goes. There's no other, there's no way around it. Once you put in 20 to 25 games, I'd say that that's when your elo normally evens out around where you should be, or levels out about where you should be. So Tato's towered there, and the first fire galley is out. Interesting. I like Tato's position, guys. But Vinchester, he's already defending here. Notice how Tato has full walled his base as well, so he doesn't have to worry about any land aggression coming in. He could put all of his focus in on water, and that demo was huge! It collided with both of Vinchester's fire ships. And so, Vinchester needs to go back. This is where you'll see players repair their fire galleys. And that's a good play from Vinchester. And Tato will now need to go back. And now Tato's repairing on this side, and Vinchester doesn't have that villager here anymore. So this village is chilling out up here. Uh, Vinchester has really been caught off guard by this. She's not doing anything. And so far, Tato's micro has been really solid because in a lot of these engagements, he has less numbers. Now here, he has significantly less numbers, but he's doing okay. But the food count for Vinchester is pretty high. He has 620 food. 
Matato is seems to be adding more fishing ships in this back pond. Um, and, and Vinchester might add fish here, or it'd be smart to maybe make a galley to patrol on the shoreline so Tato can't dock that one, too. Pretty even game. This tower was smart. It's weird to see players tower so early, but I think it was a smart decision for Tato. And... He could go to stone later on. He's probably going to do that if he wants to go for land aggression for those organ guns. Again, look at the repairs from Tato. Yeah, Tato's just won the West. Well played, Tato. So, there will be one fishing ship difference. Of course, Tato could always add more fish here if he thinks he's won this convincingly. And everything seems to be going okay in the South for Tato. Uh, oh, Vinchester, though. He's double docked the north. Such a cool map. I love this map so much. There's so many things to talk about. So many ponds. Then you have the land, which is very open. I think Cross is one of my favorite Age of Empires 2 maps. I'm a big fan. Oh, will he demo the fishing ships? He could get two fishing ships. Alright, he demos one. Well, two of these are weak now. Is Vinch about to repair a fishing ship? Yeah, he is. <laughs> repair bills are really important. That's a big reason that Tato did so well here at the start. Well, you don't want your fish to be burned. That's what happens, right? It's technically on fire there. 800 food and uh, 100 gold for Vinch. Ooh. See? And he sees Tato's villas there. So he'll fight that. Ah, and both players have docked the north now. Vinchester spotted this, though. So Tato's resources are a lot lower. I think he'll be in Castle Age later. Okay, I heard a market... Tato, eh, he might be up right behind, actually. He could use that market, balance things out. Vinch is on the way up. Oh no, not the pony. <laughs> I love it. Tato uses this fire galley to save the vill. He has more HP there if you were to attack. There's so many little things with this. Now you have the vill coming over to repair, so Tato will lose this fire galley. So many little things, man. Ooh, grilled salmon. Hmm, I want a demo ship on my fishing ships. Vinch is getting scale barding armor. So what's cool about having a big fish boom is that you can afford to pump out knights and villagers. Vinchester, he's been on the ball here. He sees Tatosville. Tato's... Maybe considering a tower. Hard to say. Tato's not on stone, by the way. Not on stone at all, as far as I can see. So, no organ guns, guys. Not yet. Has the western pond. Uh, is probably going to lose the northern pond. And southern pond, I'm not sure. So, I, w I like Vinch's position more in terms of water control. But it's very, very close. I would definitely like Vinch's position more with land control, too. Vinch might consider a siege workshop. Yeah, I like this move. So a few knights will attack the wall, then Tata will wall behind. But he can't do that for very long if Maganels show up. Oh, but Tato's killing some fish here. Vinch is trying to do an awful lot on land and on water at the same time. But that demo was sick! That demo will mean he'll take water control again. He's getting war galleys, so these these fire galleys will become fire ships. Nice fishing ship kills from Tato. He has a small lead there, but uh, I think he needs monk defense, and now he's making a monastery, but you could tell he's panicked. Quickly building that monastery first thing. Okay, Tato, Tato has taken the north? He hasn't taken the north, but he's back on the north. Tato's been amazingly stubborn with his docks.
Look at the fishing ship difference now. Finch is already behind four. And he could lose two more. But you know what? I think this is okay for Vinchester because he's already investing into farms. So he's kind of thought ahead. And this is what I meant. Tato can't wall behind. These units are coming in. Whether Tato likes it or not, these knights are coming in. The Maganels are going to come in. It's all on how the monks will work for Tato now. If Tato can get conversions on it, a single knight, that means the knight can turn around to attack Vinchester's Maganel. And I think Vinch recognizing he will be converted is making his own monastery. This is high level stuff. Best game of the day by far right here. Definitely the best game of the day. Tato, he's done exactly what he's needed to do in this situation. and He's taken the fish lead. But on land, Portuguese can struggle. So, it's still fine for Vinch. It's, it's fine for Tato. What you build up to is Portuguese now, though. It's not organ guns, at least not anytime soon. Vinch is making a range here to make some cav archers, I bet. Oh, and the knights looped around, and Tato wasn't sure where the knights were coming. He loses one vil, he's off gold. It's messy stuff, man. Vinchester realized that he might lose water. So what he did was... Ooh. Hold on. This is interesting. Tato sent his monks this way. Anyway, Vinchester expected that he would lose water. And so he started investing into TCs and farms. So in terms of eco units, they're both at 53. Fishing ships and just water control in general really boost your score in Age of Empires too. So I, I wouldn't put a lot of uh, weight into the score right now. Also, great job from Vinchester to run away before the conversions would come in. He's even attacking the monastery. It's kind of weird how Vinchester's making these archery ranges in random spots, though. That is one thing I'm questioning. Very random. But with Mass CA, he would kill Tato's monks. Uh, Tato did build the stable. He's getting armor, so he's making a few of his own knights. Avenge did make a monastery for his own monks, but there's so much going on. There's so much gold invested into his attacks. This is wild, man. Seriously close. If Tato converts that high HP knight, this changes the whole game. Oh my god. He easily kills the Maganels. He kills this knight. Look what a conversion does. I, even without the conversion, I think it would have been good. But oh my god. Just like that. Just like that, Tato cleans up the Maganels. Um... No, I'm, I might have hit my mic. I don't know, man. Not really paying much attention. Okay, Vinch gets conversion. I'm, I'm going crazy right now. This game is so solid. I think Tato misclicked, so he missed the monk. Oh, he got him. I, I just don't like how Vinchester's one range is here. It makes life so awkward for him. But I love the Cav Archer edition. Tato would... I, I just don't get Portuguese. What do you do? Do you continue to make knights? Knights and monks? He's on stone, so either tower defense or castle into organ guns. But there's so many cav archers around. Look what cav archers can do! Tato's losing villagers. He's already 12 villagers behind. I lied, actually. I can't do math. He's now 10 villagers behind, 11 villagers behind... Vinch is going to tower that gold. Vinch has this hill where there's more gold and more stones. And Tato's really struggling now without map control. Vinchester's even floating more food in the bank. Oh, nice tower from Tato. That's going to be annoying. Okay, Tato's committing tonight with Portuguese. And he's getting armor. If he gets the final armor upgrade, he could definitely fight the Cav Archers. I don't think Vinchester's expecting this many knights. Really needs to keep his massive units alive. Here he sniped a few villagers from Tato while Tato was focused on the fight. A good move from Vinchester to get husbandry. Watch what husbandry does. He gets it 
20 seconds before Tato, and he can get all of his Cav Archers out of here and safe. And another tower will go up for Vinchester. It is 95 population for Tato, 88 for Vinchester. Best game of the day for sure. Hey, YouTube. How you doing? How you doing? Did Vinch not react to this? Did Vinch not see this tower? Well, that that's going to hurt him. If he can't get his stone, I'm sure there's other options, but it'll be rough. And, and Tato needs other options for stone, too. Tato... Having to hop inside his tower there. It's really hard to play in Tato's shoes, though. In this scenario, it's so messy. And you have such a slow sieve. It's clunky, too, because you have to click the monks so much. Oh, and Vinch just runs in. And... Ah! Not bad. Tato got a few conversions. And Tato will stop the TC for now. Vinchester has a lot of wood that he could put into farms, but there's a lot of micro needed as well, so there's, there's he don't got time for that. Vinchester's uh, composition only costs wood and gold, whereas Tato's composition is a lot of food and gold, so I don't see Tato getting to Imp near as quickly, which means he needs map control. He needs to take some big fights, and he's losing villagers to Vinchester. Vinchester just killed three. Vinchester has 84 vills. It's only 62 for Tato. Oh, now the CA are running in. Tato's in big trouble. He will deny this TC and kill two vills, but now look at his gold. The more this plays out, the more of an advantage Vinchester is gaining. This is getting crazy now. Tato's down to 56 villagers. 55 now versus the 85 of Vinchester, and Vinchester's economy is secured for the most part. Maybe not here because of these towers, but he has a lot more map control. Oh, but Tato's going for the counterattack! And, and Tato gets a Maganello shot! Will he wall these units in? What's the plan here? This is so messy. Look at this! We have some T90 farms from Vinch. You can tell he's doing an awful lot. Way quicker than he wants to. He does react. And he does build this TC, which gives him more room to hide. He's even building this T, which gives him... TC, which gives him uh, more room to hide. My god, the Cav Archers are on the way back for uh, Vinchester. And Vinchester's on the way to the Imperial Age, so I think Tato needs to kill more still. Still not a great situation for him. And the thing with Cav Archers is, you just patrol them. With Ballistics... And Thumbring, I'm sure, is going to come in. You'll be fine, so just patrol them. And Tatsu doesn't really have that luxury. So now you have Tato with a 65 vils. Vinchester was 75. What does Tato need now? He needs big engagements. He needs to chew up the number of Cav Archers. He needs to take map control with maybe a Castle Drop or Towers. And this fight is good. He's killed quite a few CA. It's only eight Cav Archers. Make that seven for Vinchester. And Tato. Oh my god. Check this out. He's killing bills here. He's killing bills here. This is exactly what he needs. If he doesn't get kills now, he's in trouble because he'll be in Castle versus Imperial Age Vinch. He's coming back in here. Tato's everywhere. This is so well done. So the difference between Cav Archers and Knights is that Knights can do a lot more damage in low numbers. So, Tato is hitting this area, then he's hitting this area. Watch, he'll see Vinchester's CA are here, and he'll run, and see this as an opportunity to go in elsewhere, like here. So, he's just running in and out, in and out. Yeah, he knows the Cav Archers are here, he'll send the Knights back in, I think, maybe. That's the idea, though. He's buying himself tons of time. Tato is researching Elite Skirm. I'm not sure how to, how to talk about this game anymore. Tato has the Ville lead. 81 Vills, and now Vinchester has 71, and Tato has 20 fishing ships. What can Vinchester do with Imp? That's the question. He can't afford to do an awful lot. He's getting capped ram. He can't afford any Imperial Age upgrades on his Cav Archers. That's just how bad it is economically for him. 
<clears throat> Jay Blake, bottom left, that is all the eco units. So 103 is the number of eco units for Tato. You look to the bottom right, that shows he has 83 vills and 20 fishing ships. The problem with the current version of Capture Age is if I click units, you can't see that bottom right area. And that's what you have to do as a caster. So I, I preferred the older version where it showed all those things all the time. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Malza. And I think that will be changed in the future. I brought that up to the Capture Age team. But you've heard me say that others might not have, have got that explanation. So again, Tato really needs to be pressuring. Um, oh, he's building a castle here. And Vinchester has capped rams. Uh, the rams are going to die. I think there's opportunity for Vinch now, but I think Tata will go all in Castle Age. It's what it feels like anyway. He's making a lot of skirms and still making knights. And if he has a lot of skirms, Vinchester should probably be making Cavalier. Uh, he's thinking about going that route, but he doesn't have many upgrades just yet. But Vinch did take the Ville lead again. He's now at 93. And Tato's at 88. Alright, King Arthur. See you next time, man. Why does it say that he's getting chain barding armor now? When the unit says he already has it. I'm pretty sure that Vinch already has chain barding. He also has Bracer for his CA, but not a lot else. And definitely doesn't have the military numbers. It's only 20 military for Vinch and 50 for Tato. Tato's just buying himself time. And oh my god, he found the gold! He found the gold! I think Vinch is in big trouble. Look at the micro from Tato now as well. Keeping his knights in front as a buffer. And when he can use the skirmishers, he'll, he'll pick off cab archers. Where's Vinch getting gold now? He doesn't have any other gold except this now. And that's right near where Tato is about to mount and push. I also like the addition of a few organ guns. Uh, because organ guns will help out versus those cavalier. Guys. This is Tato's fight. Th this is a better fight for Tato with just castle age units. 175 population. It's only getting higher. He'll go 200 pop in Castle Age, I'm pretty sure. And he should do it. He should wait till he's pop capped and then go imp. Spend all your resources right now on flooding military. Man, what a ridiculous comeback. From. I mean, the whole game has been good, but I thought Tata was way behind once the Cav Archer started getting masked. He has to be careful, though. He can't lose his skirmishers like this. He just separated his knights from the skirmishers. He's, he is going to click Imp. And he's doing some real eco harassment. Again, perfect unit um, control. Splitting up the knights. If you fight with your army all in one spot, it just suits the cav archers. Can Vinch make up for the 70 population difference in the next three minutes before Tato's imp? Don't think so. He can't take his gold. He can't even defend this hill, really. And Tato will go for Cavalier. He'll go for his own Bracer and Chemistry upgrade. Uh, Tato will have 50 military units that are upgraded in imp, and it will only be 20 for Vinchester. Yeah, and another big reason that to take that fight, or just to reposition Vinch, is uh, so he could gather more units on the hill. Vinch has never been in a position in Imp to raid Tato. Tato has always had so much that Vinch was forced to fight it. Vinch, Vinch should fight this now, I think. It's kind of a now or never situation. He has to know his eco is behind. He has to know that Tato might be up. So he should try and force an engagement. More HP for Vinchester. But there's towers here. There's organ guns. There's a castle on the right. I think this fight's gone okay for Tato. Just needs to weather the storm. See how much the organ guns help? Yeah. He'll have just enough, I think. 
just enough to wait for his upgrades. The fight was okay for Vinch, but it had to be a landslide victory. I saw a tattoo get Pikeman, so he's thinking Skirmisher, Halberdier, Rams, Organ Guns, combination of everything possibly. Uh, getting Guard Tower to, to hold this position a little bit better. Maybe now is the time where Vinchester raids, though. He wants to TC this gold. For the first time in a long time, the military numbers are similar. This is where he could raid. And see, the recognition from Tato to realize he's exposed? To realize that this might be the time where Vinchester goes to his base. Look at that castle. Beautiful. Beautiful castle. I mean, as long as it goes up, obviously. It's, a, it's at 65%. Um... This should go up. This should go up. Has a few pikemen there waiting. We'll have the TC fire to help. And now Tata will, will regain some control over this hill. But Vinchester's at 125 pop. It's 150 for Tato. I felt like Tato's fight was fine. I, I felt like he would still have hill control. And he does. But can he deal with the Cavalier and Cav Archer raids? This is such a good game. Still big lead for Tato, I'd say, because of the 20 fish. Uh, but, but, he'll lose villagers! This is the classic mobility versus, versus slow, compact style matchup. Like, Vinchester's had all that mobility, but he hasn't been able to use that until now. And Tato can't catch up with this easily. But, but notice how Tato realizes this gold is important for Vinch. He's castling this gold, so he'll take that. And then he's also pushing in with organ guns on this hill. So it's like, almost like Tato's winning in two areas and Vinch is winning in just one. And I also feel as though the area that Vinch is winning is, is less convincing. He will eventually lose this. And I'm not sure about Tato losing this hill, and I'm, I'm definitely sure that Tato won't lose this area, at least for now. 169 pop for Tato and 150 for Vinch. Crazy game. Crazy game, 54 minutes in. Finch is, is fighting for his life in this tournament, by the way, so he's not gonna he's not gonna quit. I think Tato needs more elite skirm here. How about elite skirm working gun? But man, Vinch could also use elite skirm. Vinch could go Elite Skirm against all of that. Elite Skirm helps against Orkin Guns, it helps against Halves, and it helps against uh, enemy Skirms. I think he's completely out of gold, by the way. He can't take this gold. He can sell stone and stuff, but he needs to kill this castle. So, since this is now his priority, what's Tato doing? Moving in further. Hmm... Yeah, now Tato will further secure this area with a castle on the hill. Tato has done a great job at realizing where Vinch needs to take resources. And Vinch is getting Siege Ram. But uh, these two Rams, they won't be alive once the Siege Ram upgrade completes. Tato just needs to hold this. And I think he's got it. As long as he holds that area and holds this area, Vinchester will be completely starved off of any resources that he would need. And Tata just needs organ guns, cavalier, light cav, halves, anything here. Any form of melee to kill the rams, and yeah, the GG's called. Vinchester realizes there's no way he can kill the castle. Even if he kills the castle, Tata will still have a strong position on the hill. And what a game, man! That was so good! Man, I love cross games. There's so many things to talk about. Holy crap. You could see the weakness of Tato in the Imperial Age. When Vinch went to his base, you could see how difficult it was for him to keep up with the fast units. Which is why it was so important that he hit Vinch before he got to Imp. Vinchester had more vills than Tato. I think it was 15 or 20 more vills. Now, at that time, he did have the fish, so it was about even. But, uh... That was Vinchester's strength. And Vinchester figured he could go to Imp, get the power spike of, of upgrading Cav Archers, upgrading to Cavalier, and win. The second he did that, Tato just flooded him. 
And I mentioned it a few times, but what Tata was doing with his knights was, was very important. Uh, the last thing you want to do when it's knights versus cav archers is have all of your knights in the same spot. And there were a few times he ran in, he'd have five knights under this TC, five knights under this TC. Vinchester would patrol his cav archers in to deal with it. And what would Tato do? He would arrive to this area with a few units. That's how you have to play knights versus cav archers. And in that amount of time, Tato expanded to the other areas. Um, he was able to secure his own base with a few castles. That was really well played, man. Definitely... Uh, definitely a game where Tato outplayed Vinchester because I don't like Portuguese near as much as I like Huns on this map. I remember, Tato ended up winning all of the pawns, and uh, or at least rendering this one useless for Vinch, and he ended up winning on land. So, I'm, I'm mind blown. That was a sick game from Tato. Uh, let me pull up the achievements here. I'm curious to see what the stone and gold counts were like. Because at least in the last 15 minutes of that game, Vinchester was having some big gold problems. Okay, so Tato had some gold piles remaining, and he had 11,000 gold collected. Uh, he actually had more food, and he had a lot more stone. That was another concern for Vinchester. If Vinchester would have had the stone on the right-hand side, remember where the towers were? He could have maybe castled the left-hand side to secure the gold. Oh my god, I could talk about this game for hours. Um... Tato also had two relics, which was helping with the gold. Jeez, what a game. 200 kills for Vinch. 218 deaths. The KD was close. If I were to say... If I were to pick out something that Vinch did incorrectly in this game, it was how he handled the transition from Castle Age to Imp. I think that had Vinchester not gone to the Imperial Age but used that food to go for light cav. I could see him going all in cav archers and light cav versus Tato. And then Tato would have been the one who struggled. And remember Tato was already struggling on land at that point. It really switched and turned around once Vinchester tried to click him. That was when Tato flooded him. 